Hi, everybody. It's Nick here with some um, sage advice for you about the bingo game that's going to happen on Friday, December 17th, sometime after 7 o'clock during our virtual Christmas party. So uh, if you remember, you would have received an invite or an email that looks something like this. And in that email, it had this link right here um, on your screen. You can see it. This is the invite I sent to myself. But yours would have a unique number. I've also included this number in some other emails. Anyway, what I want to do is show you how to print your card. And it's a simple matter of clicking on that invite and your two cards will show up on your screen like this. Now, in order to print them, you can print them as a dual page. So you just hit print and then it'll say, well, I want medium two cards per page, both ones. And uh, this is what the printing thing would look like. It ended up looking like a nice uh, two pager. But let's say, you know, you and your spouse are going to be working um, the bingo separately in two separate cards. Well, then here's what I would recommend. Hit print. And then instead of medium, just click on this and go one large card per page. And when you hit print, you can see that it's going to be one great big card, uh, eight and a half by 11. And so, you know, you could use a great big blotter to mark these ones. Of course, you've always got the opportunity and, um, I'm, I'm reluctant to show you this because you'd have to use, in my opinion, another device to play bingo, play the bingo cards virtually, which you can do. So again, click on that link. It'll bring you to this page. And then you literally can just tick the spots as we go. And uh, let's say this is your card and you get a line. Remember, do not ever reset these cards because even though, you know, once you've had a line, or somebody gets a line, you want to leave these marks in place because you're going to continue to play until somebody gets a T or an X or something like that. And um, you just keep on playing and then don't erase them after somebody's won that because we're just going to keep on playing until you fill the card completely. My recommendation is to play this thing old school and to print these cards and use a magic marker or a crayon or something to blot them out. Anyway, you play it the way you want to play it. But again, this is how you do it if you choose to print. Anyway, we'll see you on Friday night. Have a great day.